when you had Bruce Willis for 12 Monkeys, mm. you had him in a post pop fiction moment when he was looking to do slightly more, less diehardian stuff. But did you have to keep the diehard out of Bruce Willis? No, the great thing about 12 Monkeys and, and Bruce's involvement is he wanted to show the world that he was a proper, serious, good actor. And, uh, and I said, fine. In, in that instance, you have to come without your entourage. You can't bring any of the, the nonsense that surrounds Bruce Willis superstar, just what Bruce Willis actor. You come naked, effectively. And, it's, uh, and he did. And I think he did this extraordinarily good performance. Uh, there was only one, <laughs> one week that got bad. He had to go and do some reshoots on Die Hard or one of those things. And he was gone for the weekend. And he came back, this different person. He came back, the guy from Die Hard. And I said, oh no, that's Bruce Willis Superstar, go away. And he calmed down again. But he, no, he, I think he was very frustrated because Pulp Fiction was a, an opportunity for him to show how good he was. But they didn't put him up for an Academy Award nomination. They went for Sam Jackson and uh, John Travolta instead. And Bruce was the reason the film got made. And he was not happy. And so 12 Monkeys, in some ways, was the beneficiary of his need to show the world again that he, he's got the chops. And Brad got the nomination. Brad got the nomination, yes. <laughs> the pain never ends. <laughs> it goes on and on and on. It was like Robin Williams did Awakenings. And he thought and it was a really good performance. He didn't get nominated. De Niro did, because De Niro had the twitches. Uh, we come to Fisher King, and I said, Robin, you'll get it this time, and he did. <laughs> Brad, Bruce, I mean, Bruce, Brad, Jeff does all the work of that movie, but Robin is the one that gets the stuff, and so he got nominated. It's funny how nominations have to do with ticks and twitches and, you know, props as opposed to acting sometimes.